I'm no member of the mafia, but if I were, and if I wanted a big, intimidating SUV to drive myself around, the MG Gloucester Black Storm has to be one of the options. It was always a big, burly SUV, and now, in this full black color theme, it looks downright deadly. To begin with, the entire SUV now dons a sinister shade of black. The grille up front, along with cladding on the profile and the roof rails, everything non-black is now black. Even the Gloucester lettering at the rear is now done in black. The one color that goes best with black is red. And that's the play here as well. So you see these nice red accents on the front and the rear bumper, plus on the rear view mirror as well. And the brake calipers are now red and goes really well with the black alloy wheels. The LED headlights too get red accents, while the tail lights at the rear stay the same as before. Inside, the SUV continues to get the all black treatment and dark themed leatherette seat upholstery. But on a test car, we would have liked a splash of red accents and maybe contrast red stitching on the seats that would have added sportier, sexier appeal to the cabin. The dashboard stays the same as before, along with the 12.28 inch HD touchscreen infotainment system that gets Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Other features also include a dual panoramic sunroof, power adjustable driver seat, ventilated seats, three zone climate control, air purifier, tire pressure monitoring system, and 64 color ambient lighting. The Gloucester continues to get multiple terrain modes such as snow, sand, mud, rock, sports, auto and eco. The low ratio transfer case and the electromechanical differential lock is operational only in the rock mode. So the model of the Gloucester that we tested, it gets 2 liter twin turbo diesel engine. Yes, there are two turbos in here. The motor makes about 215.5 brake horsepower and a massive 478.5 newton meters of peak torque. There is an 8 speed automatic transmission, which is standard. So, today we are not trying out the off road modes, but if you want to toggle between the auto, eco, and the sport mode, it's not like there's a massive difference between the modes. Uh, there is a slight alteration in the driving characteristics of the car, but it's not like the suspension will firm up or the steering will stiffen up if you choose the sport mode. For a car that is comfortably over 2 tons in weight, the 2.0-litre twin-turbo engine on the Gloucester does a good job of offering good, solid pulling power right from 1700 rpm. The SUV builds up speed nicely and the ratios on the 8-speed automatic gearbox are very well spaced out which means the car is in power band all throughout. There is a hint of turbo lag, but it doesn't affect your driving experience. Overall, the Gloucester offers a very refined driving experience. There is hardly any engine noise seeping into the cabin. The Gloucester has a plush ride quality and the suspension is tuned well for Indian roads. But the occupants in the third row might find the ride to be a little bouncy and the SUV takes a bit of time to settle down after going over undulations at speed. As far as the steering feedback is concerned, the steering itself feels good to hold, nice and chunky, but the feedback itself is not very encouraging. It feels dead, it feels numb, it feels sort of mechanical, and which is fine for an SUV of this size. Also, the fact that this SUV is huge, the Gloucester, direction changes take a bit of time and of course, you do feel body roll because it's just so massive. And if you were to talk about braking, the brakes are really good. The bite is quite nice and the progression is quite decent. So if you need to shed speed in a jiffy, the brakes are up for it. In terms of seating, our test model had bench seats in the middle, which means it can seat 7 people in total. The middle row seats are plush and keep the occupants in comfort, 
with decent headroom and knee room. Like the regular models, the Gloucester Black Storm is loaded with active and passive safety features. These also include a bunch of level 1 ADAS features. These include automatic parking assist, forward collision warning, lane departure warning, blind zone detection, rear cross traffic alert, driver fatigue reminder system and others. Prices start at 40.3 lakh rupees and go up to 43.08 lakh ex showroom Delhi. The SUV is available in a two wheel drive trim as well. Features stay the same but the off road capability is reduced unless you are one of the brave souls to go off roading with a 50 lakh rupees SUV. The Gloucester has a lot to offer. It is really big, solidly built and offers a decent list of features and creature comfort. The driving experience is pleasurable too. And the Black Storm Edition stands out even more due to its sinister dark look. Want a full-size SUV that is feature-loaded and comfy? Then the Gloucester Black Storm Edition should be really high on your consideration list. <music>